Hello everyone, this is Nelson Jem and you are welcome to our episode of today. In this episode, we are going to talk about uploading of YCAS 3 for 2024 SSE. Uh, before I proceed, I would like to apologize for not dropping this video early. As you know, uh, Nelson ICT Services, which is uh, a business where I'm CEO and founder, uh, deals with uh, institutions that are involved with WAEG, NECO, JAM, NAPTEP, BESE and many more. So uh, at a specific time in a year, we would have to put our focus on a particular examination depending on the pressure uh, at that very time. So as of recently, we were occupied with the jam that just ended and uh, National ICT Services is uh, a network administrator as one of the CBT centers and also we run tutorials for students who are involved with jam so that is why uh, sometimes you find out we go offline because we are busy with a commitment that uh, is uh, very required. We try our best to make sure that we create a lot of impact on our individuals. So anytime we find a need, we'll try to provide our skills and expertise to solve those problems. So uh, on that note, I hope that all of you are doing well and uh, this tutorial will help you solve your problems. I have received messages about people asking how do I upload CAS3? When is it open? So right now CAS3 is open and you can upload it. But uh, I'm going to show you two ways on how you can upload. One is if you are using a new system to upload CAS3, you did your first and second year on a different computer and you want to use a new one this tutorial is going to show you how to do that uh, the second category is those who already have it on their computers and they want to uh, just upload the cast 3 since they already have everything in their system okay so there are some things i'll be doing back door you won't you might not know how to do it but uh if you subscribe to our database tutorial, we will teach you how to do that. And that involved uh, automatically inserting the, the CA3 instead of following the due process, entering them one after the other. So uh, nice to meet you and you're welcome to Nelson JM. You can endeavor to follow us on our social media platforms. Going back to our topic for today, uploading YCAS3, and as you know, 
the first thing to do about cast 3 is making sure that your software is installed the y cast sc software make sure this software is installed as you can see uh y neko uh that is the ssc is not yet installed but would uh, we have uh, okay the ssc is right here we have naptep base uh, base is also run by neko so if your school is uh uh enlisted as a neko base center that is for students in their jss classes uh you can also follow through with the tutorial for base that is going to drop in through uh with a partnership uh uh, with other uh, people I uh, will be glad to be able to help you solve basic problems as well because Nigeria is becoming IT focused and it's, it will be good for you to find support at the time you want it so basic will be included apart from uh, NAPTEP so guys uh, we are diving right into uh, why cas if your software has been down for a long time the first thing it will do is to try to get uh, uh, maybe an update that is available if there is no update available it will proceed to launch and as you can see i'm connected to the internet So we just wait for it to launch. So if your software is having an update, uh, recently they included an option to skip updating your software. But if you have uh, an update available, it will try to download. And if your network is strong enough, you would be able to download that in no time. So uh don't worry you can be able to skip this if you don't want it and as you can see it's almost reaching the end so going from here if your software is completely downloaded you are going to receive this smart screen from windows it asks you if you want to install the software because of course the developer is not uh, is an unknown publisher so microsoft would like you to verify i'll just run anyway it will take a few minutes and then the software is up and running so from here all we have to do is to log in as in ICT. So as you can see in this software we already have one a school that already have it candidate inside. Secondly, we are going to look at a school that has a data on a different system. As I captured the students on a different system but I want to do their custody here. So how do you do for schools that or you have the system with you? What you do is uh, you would go to administration, then you would go to generate next cast entry. Next cast entry because the students have been promoted for second year, that is what qualifies you to capture them on the SSC. Now you need to promote them <coughs> again. To the third year so that they would uh, complete their registration for the year so would, uh, click here i think the software have a lot of updates but so you select the year you want is the second year and my second year was in 2022 i think uh, 2021 uh, whichever one let me I'll pause this video and get back well, let's let's start with the school that 
their data is not found on your system uh, for that you need to go to administration that is after registering the school and to register the school you have to go to school details you select the country the school is located the state you would uh, select the local government the name of the school the location of the school and many more so that is how to add schools so you go to administration i want to restore data from online portal so this school was already uploaded and this is the school and the data is uh, 2020 one twenty twenty two I'll just restore from here uh, 2020, 2021, 2021, 2022 this is the data I want and it is their year 2 So you wait for it, make sure you are connected to the internet, make sure your network is strong enough to pull the data. It's going to download their, their scores, to download their names, download their subjects, download their passports and every other thing. So your network needs to be strong enough to handle all those things I mentioned. So, while this is going on, if let's say the school had done this with a different client and then they are coming back to you, first of all, you need a, an account with uh, YEC and it's on YEC. YEC International. Dot org slash cast that's where you find the portal for uh, cast data of this please wait check in internet connection So um, now that our data is populated from the online portal, uh, sorry I just passed, you get a notification saying <coughs> uh, your data will replace the current one in the database, you will do that. So the next thing to do is go to generate next cast year, we we'll select cast year 2 because the second year is what we want to fix. Then we'll go to 2022. Currently, none of them are promoted, so I'll just click uh, for uploaded students online. I want them to pro be promoted, so it will promote these students to their year three. I'll just allow this to run. Good. So now that our data is populated, we now have students on the cast 3 and that will be on the if we want to enter there the two ways we can enter our cast. One is subject basis. First we will select the year, the year three. Secondly, we we'll select the year, <coughs> the CAS year, and then the exam year is 2023. So, if you select the subject, you will see the students without CAS or the ones that already have with white, and the ones without would have the red. So, I will just close this, and then there is the candidate basis where you would enter 
the data for each candidate <coughs> and as you can see each candidate will have their information listed so all you need to do is to populate this window for the student and then when you are done confirm the entry and submit so after you submit the student become populated total cap cars captured will become 15 and then outstanding becomes zero this number reduces the more white space you have it so <coughs> From here, all you have to do is enter the CA and then upload. To upload, you need to either come here, upload cast detail online, or you export it to upload it on the browser. So to upload cast detail online, you click on this button. Make sure you're connected to the internet. It comes, it will have to check and verify that you're connected to the internet or else you would have to come over <coughs> if you use the second option you should come here if you don't have an account register an account you use your email when they verify the email you will be able to uh, upload directly from here first you would log in as a user secondly you will log in as a school so there are two authentications in this very portal as soon as you enter there is an option for uploading and if you watch our previous videos, you will be able to see how you can proceed from there. So you can upload an entire center. <coughs> you can then you select the cast year, year 3. You select the session 2023. I will check the box and click continue. Now if you click continue, this is the user name you created here and it's usually your email address and then the password is the same password you created here then the last one is the cast reference number it's a 15 digit number that is supplied by your school this compartment is for school uh, center number and then this is where the pin goes so you can show pin if maybe any problem comes up as soon as you are done with this, you are done with us and see you in the next episode of Nelson J. Please make sure to subscribe to our <coughs> social media platforms.